today on Divorce Court. Brittany breaks my things because she's crazy. She needs anger management. I don't have an anger problem because everyone get mad when you make them mad. Stop breaking my things. I don't want to have to sue you again. Religion is a big thing because I don't believe in Jesus and his family is super holy. They tell Brittany she needs to rethink what she believes in. I don't know if we'll ever get back together. It depends on if he can be honest and tell the truth and stop cheating. So I do see myself with Brittany forever if she can just have a good conversation with me instead of arguing, yelling. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Brittany Spencer and Terrence Spencer. Mr. and Mrs. Spencer, you've been together 10 years, married for two, separated for the past few months, and you do not want to be married anymore, and you also have two children together. Mrs. Spencer, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why you're here in divorce court today? Well, I'm here in divorce court because Terrence can't be truthful. He lies. He cheats. <laughs> There she go, man. So let me tell you how the first time I caught him cheating, okay. I was on my way to work, and I just happened to go through his phone, and it was um, a text message. So I woke him up and asked him about it, and of course he lied. So I took the number out of his phone, and I went to work and called first the girl, the, was the young lady. Sleep. So you know, she was honest. She said that nothing happened. They just talked on the phone. So that was just the first time. The second time I went through his phone again, he was sleeping, and he had it saved as a guy's name. And, you know, the text message said, you know, I'm going to get to you, Mr. Spencer. Uh, so the name said a guy's name. And the message said, you know, well, when you coming over? Now, I know he ain't gay. So, <laughs> you know, I asked him, who is this? This time he was honest. I can admit he was honest. And he told me they had relations. So I didn't call the girl this time. Mr. Spencer, those are a lot of allegations. Do you care to respond? OK, listen, I'm a man. I own up to what I did. Uh -huh. I did what I did. But that don't give her the right to cheat back. We don't play like that. We don't play like that. So you like admit that. that those times that she caught you, you had, in fact, been doing inappropriate I things. did. I admit, too. I did. Okay, yes. you do. But you say she revenge cheated. Yeah, like... Tell me about how you found out about that. She came out and told me the first time mm -hmm. about, you know, she went on a few dates with a couple guys because I did what I did, which is not, not fair. That's not how we play, man. I don't... That, that, did you that... revenge cheat, Mrs. Spencer? Maybe. Man, <laughs> so that's a yes. <laughs> so that's a yes. <laughs> you did go do that. Yes, I, I'm not a cheater. I don't just go and just do it. I was just mad because he did it. Well, you're a cheater just for different reasons. Yeah. Well, I she's still it. a cheater, you know though, ain't you? <laughs> still a cheater. Did you feel that once you revenge cheated, you would be evened up and then you could continue on, you know, blissfully in your union? No, is, no, is that, that... what you... Was that, was that your thought? No, that wasn't my thought. I just did it out of anger. You were just mad. Yeah, just I was just mad. mad. And, yeah. and, and try to make yourself happy. Yeah. But see, that, 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 now, now that made me mad. Now, now I'm around the crib snapping, cursing her up. That didn't make nothing better. Now, you started it. So, mm -hmm. just to say it's over and I'm done, is not is not it. You have to make up for what you've done. Revenge cheating is a six-year-old's response to pain, as opposed to a, a grown person response to pain. But a response to your cheating has to be on your part. Grand gestures of remorse and things done. You, she can't. You can't just tell her get over it. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. I, I get that. I get that. I do. You know what I'm saying? You have to deal with the pain and all that. You say, however, that the major problem in this relationship is her anger. Yeah. Please tell me I why you problem. say that. Oh, man. Let me tell you. One time, I'm, ready, I'm getting ready to go out. I'm in the room getting dressed. She talking about, you ain't going nowhere. I'm like, yo, go ahead, man. I'm out. She talking about, you think I'm playing. You not leaving. I say, yo, I'm not about to argue with you tonight over this. I'm out. She leave out the room. Two minutes later, I hear a crash. Windows, bro. I look outside like, yo, it's, that's my car. Windows getting busted out by her with a brick. I'm like, yo, she out there throwing bricks through all my windows. I said, look, it's cool. I'm gonna just throw a trash bag over the windows. I'm gonna still go out tonight. <laughs> Did you? No. I couldn't because crazy over here sitting in the back seat like, you still not leaving. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I said, come on, man. Mrs. Spencer, did you bust out all the windows yes, and sit in the back seat and refuse to if leave? that's not crazy, yes, I don't I know where it is. Yes. Where did you learn to respond like that? I'd be mad. I don't know. I just, when I get angry, I just react. I don't know. And we was having 
a discussion. We wasn't done talking, and he just walks away. I'm getting dressed. I'm going out. That's not how you settle things. Mm -hmm. So I know so that's you not how you settle things, neither. That, but yeah, I did. <laughs> that's <laughs> not. That's not all. He's a liar. That's, that's not all. Keep telling me. We had a little discussion in the crib earlier this day. She leaves out on because she was mad. I said, all right, I'm gonna chill in the house, play 2K, play my man online, best some money. $40 on the line, it's fourth quarter. She come back in the house, pull the cord out the wall. You still owe me $40 for that. I don't owe you nothing. Pull the cord out anything. the wall in the middle of 2K. Yeah, okay. That's serious. That's serious to me. Mrs. Spencer, did you do that? That's not even the story. We had well, a disagreement the, the day before, and um, I left to go to work the next morning. And when I came back, you know, I texted him on my way home. I don't want no company, don't have nobody over. And when I get home, he got his friends, a bunch of friends there playing a game. And I asked them nicely, this is my home. I said, can y'all please leave? You could have at me. Hang on, hang on. Left. They looking at me like I'm a stranger at my own home. So I unplugged the, the game. Did you have a lot of folk over it there? It depends on what you call a lot. Four, what, what? four. Well, give me a number. It was, it, was, it, was, it was four of us. Four of you playing a game. Four yeah, plus one. Yes. It was, it was all right. Five of them. I think it was five. Okay, it five might have been five. Playing the game. Yes. It, it might have been five. But we was bad. So we was bad money. We was, we you know, we was chilling. Do you understand why she was annoyed? Let's not talk about her response. Let's ask, why was she annoyed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What I was insane. I don't. I was. Listen, I was trying to win some money. I yeah. was trying to win some money doing two. You know what your problem is, Mr. Spencer. What? What's you, my problem? You go ahead and behave badly. You don't respond to it, and then you just sit back and let her get angry. You don't change your behavior. You're not adult about it. You just behave like you're 12 and then wonder why she's mad. Oh, she thank you so much for telling us. She wants a grown man. She wants a husband who knows when to come home. She wants a man who's not home with his, his boys all the time playing the game. She wants a grown man, and she's frustrated. So instead of knowing that you're not going to respond in a manner that is rational, she loses her mind. Losing your mind is not the way to go. Yeah, but I'm just telling you what happens. So you, you just take us out? I'm all done. <laughs> I'm all done. Now I want you to tell me why your family does not like her. My family is a very Christian family, mm -hmm. and she's not as Christian as they are. So about a year ago, I, um, I stopped believing in Jesus. And his family member called another family member that actually really believed in Jesus, like, you know, called me and she gonna say, well, can I pray for you? I told her no. She <laughs> didn't know to listen to no. <laughs>
And you say you respect my wishes, but you don't. So now that's why I don't want my kids around his family. Well, now, you, uh, let, 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 me, let me say this. So you're mad because they made your child say grace. Yes. yes. Did they well, actually make him say grace or just everybody was saying grace that's and he my had to thing. be quiet during he the... Just, he just happened to be there when you in Rome, you do as, right? Right. And he's a kid. He, no, he, he doing what your whatever. family tells him to do. I don't think they made him do it. Yes. He just he he followed the, he followed the role everybody else was playing. That's uh, yeah, that, that's I think it's kind of when you go over somebody and everybody's in, in, in the habit of saying grace, you say grace, you don't party while it's you know you just you just chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, so that'd be fine. Respect if they the just moment. Chilling. If he, if he, my son, just sitting there, but no, they got him actually saying and repeating what they say. That's a problem. Oh, I see. And then no, you no, know, no, wait, wait, it we, was Christmas. We wasn't they, even they there gets for that. They get mad. They get mad at Christmas time, or because I don't want my child celebrating Christmas. You could buy him gifts. That's fine, but I'm not gonna say uh, Santa Claus bought it. I'm not taking no jolly man, let no jolly man take responsibility for what I paid for. That's a problem. <laughs> I've never heard anyone put it that way. That was very good. <laughs> In the beginning, I heard cheating, which is a drop pickable moment. But it seems that you guys have worked through that. And now we're at saying grace, jolly fat men. Oh, yeah. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and cleaning bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Are we still at divorceable? Would you allow your children to pray if your partner was opposed to it? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. I understand that you believe Mr. Spencer is not quite tidy enough. Tell me about his cleanliness habits and why they're such a problem. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, wait, no, wait. she asked me, just hush. <laughs> so, I was raised with a family that, you know, everything had to be clean, disinfected, bathroom clean three times a week, you know, and he not so cleansed. That's, that's I'm not saying you're dirty, it. but not so cleansed. He works long hours, he's a truck driver. So when he comes home, I tell him, okay, the bathroom needs to be clean. That's all he has to clean is the bathroom. I let him sleep and thinking that when he wakes you up, don't the let bathroom. Me stop. Thinking don't when let he me gets sleep. up, the bathroom stop. will be cleaned. But no, he wants to go on for days and days until I just be like, okay, whatever, I cleans it. And then he want to come in, you know, like lazy men do. Oh, I was getting ready to do it. Well, when? <laughs> I asked you four days ago to clean the bathroom. Mr. Look, Spencer, what's your point of view listen, on that? Listen, I, I, work, I work overnight. Like, I go to work around five at night, come home around five, sometimes six, seven in the morning. She off, she tell me, you want to clean the bathroom? I just walked in the door. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I give that. you time. Can I get some breakfast first, some turkey bacon or something? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Before she start going on about cleaning something. So I'm like, yo, let me just chill first. I got you when I get up. So I get up or whatever. I'm ready to clean some. I go in the, I go in the kitchen, see his dishes dirty. Throw them in the dishwasher. What are you, you, that's not washing dishes. What do you I got mean good that's pots, not okay? I spend money on my pots. They don't go on dishwasher. Why you gotta not? wash them out by hand. I'm not, you got two hands if you well, want to wash them. Well, then don't touch my dishes. Then. If but I'm don't washing touch the dishes, I I'm gonna use the dishwasher. I told you to clean the bathroom. What you doing in the kitchen? Hey, 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 let me ask you two something. <laughs> let me ask you two something. I passed the kitchen hey, on the way to the hey, bathroom. Hey, 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 hey. I hear, in the beginning, I heard cheating which is a drop kickable moment. But it seems that you guys have worked through that. And now we're at saying grace, jolly fat men. Oh, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and cleaning bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Are we still at divorceable? Or have we passed the major issues and are stuck on angry and are just transferring it to smaller things? My main thing with her, is my, 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 my Windows and my Xbox oh my and my gosh. 2K. Don't break my, I don't be around the crib pouring out her coconut so oil it's, or, or cutting up her lipstick. Why are you throwing my Xbox out the so window? So your I problem is the anger. That's she not could, the, hey, Mr. Spencer, that Mr. Mr. Mrs. Spencer, if you could get her anger under the control, you're cool with staying in the relationship. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I'm telling you. Mrs. Spencer, is there something that he's done that is now unforgivable or is there something that can be saved? If he stopped lying and stopped making me angry. When's the last time he <laughs> lied to you about some woman? Oh, that was years ago, so. Years ago. But he just ago. lied about little things, you know, about leaving the house. Let me tell you, oh, he told God. me, he came in the house at 2 o'clock in the morning one time. 
And I asked him, well, what you doing here? So, you know, this, this single man hours. What you doing out this time of night? He gonna tell me, oh, we was playing 2K, I fell asleep. No, mm -hmm. I don't I got believe you. that. I, I understand what's happening here. Listen, you have asked me, Mr. Spencer, to award you $876.99, mm -hmm. one for a broken gaming system and some for tinted windows on yes, your Grand Prix. Yes. Do Grand Marquis, I'm sorry. I and we're gonna no, just stay right okay. way over there. Oh, All right. <laughs> and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> How long would it take you to forgive a partner for cheating? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. So, Mr. Spencer, if this union ends, you want your money for those broken items. You want money for the broken gaming system and the broken windows, correct? Yes, man. That's pretty simple. You did it. I paid for it. Yeah. But you gave it to him, right? Here's a little gift. That a gift back. is a gift is a gift is a gift. <laughs> if it's a gift, it's gone and it doesn't belong to you anymore. Once it doesn't belong to you anymore, you can't break it. So if, in fact, you two decide not to be together, there will be a judgment in his favor in the $876.99. Now, what I'm telling you is I hope that no money changes hands. You got little people in the house. Little people. And the cheating was long ago. So you can't continue to get angry about that. And you can't put the anger of the cheat on top of the not being neat or on top of the gaming system. All it is, it's different. But your anger seems to have built up over the years, so he gets the whole scope of your anger every time he does anything. So you don't want to live like that. You don't want your kids to live like that. Your anger should be appropriate to the circumstance. Having said that, you out there running around like you 12. It is difficult <laughs> being a grown woman with grown woman responsibilities, and your man is sitting around gaming and going out and hanging out like he has no responsibilities whatsoever. It's irritating as all get out that you haven't stood up and taken responsibility for your household. It seems that you have allowed your wife to manage everything, be in charge of everything. You play as you will and then wonder what she's upset about. We don't get married to take care of you. We want to have children with you. We don't want you to revert to your own personal childhood. <laughs> You want her to stop being angry? You, you behave like a grown man. You know, open, come home, she, you got all your boys in the house playing that game? She's tired. Good night, nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Get a four-year-old and one-year-old a chance. You know what I mean? Man yeah. up. Either one of them a girl? Uh-huh, my daughter, she won. Be the man you would want her to marry one day. Right. You want to load up some dude on her back and make her carry it for the rest of her life? Keep it up. She ain't getting married. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, you're I'm right. telling you, keep you're it right. up. And that's exactly what she'll do. So, right. I'm going to award him $876.99, which he is not going to take from you. But what he is going to do is he's going to behave like the grown man that he is. Ain't that right? That's right. And you're going to step off all that anger. Because it's hard to be in a house with a woman who's perpetually upset. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Paying yeah, that stupid tax. That stupid tax, every time you break something, you got to replace it. It's the stupid tax. Yeah. You can't afford it. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. I came here for a divorce, but if Terrence can stop lying and come home at a reasonable hour, we can work it out. The judge suggested I act like a man, take charge of my household, and that's exactly what I plan to do. 